Hello class. Um, a question I'd like to start us off with is how many of you guys feel really wide awake and ready to go right now? Maybe just a couple, but the real question that I'm trying to answer today is how many of us did feel wide awake from K to 12 when we were growing up going to school? Or more importantly, during that ride to school when we were driving to school, were we actually wide awake during that time? So, so after visiting numerous websites and as well as being a chronic high school follower sleeper in class, I uh, would like to persuade you guys to talk to someone in your school district of where either you went or your kids will go eventually about this topic of starting school later because it would be in the benefit of kids in America. So right now, so right now K through 12 schools start entirely too early. And there's a lot of reasons why this is. Um, the National Sleep Foundation found that 59% of middle schoolers and 87% of high schoolers got too little sleep. This is mainly because kids don't go to bed early at night because it is very difficult with the new social media distractions of television shows, sporting events that are up late. So if they're up till 10, 11 at night and then have to wake up early in the morning by 5 or 6, it's virtually impossible for them to get that eight, eight and a half hours of sleep that they do, in fact, need in order to be successful in school. So not that um, they're doing necessarily anything wrong. It is just that the way our society is going, we're leaning towards staying up later at night. So it would benefit them to start later in the morning and have the school system adjust the way the Americans' lives are. So... When kids are not fully awake at school, they, they're not as attentive. I know when I was in high school, I um, would sit in my first and second periods and fall asleep in class or talk to my friends and try to wake myself up, which isn't beneficial for me or the people around me, as well as a lot of my friends would just not come to their first and second periods where they can't gain any knowledge of those classes anyway and can't advance themselves in the educational system the way they should be able to just merely because school starting at 7.45 in the morning and most of us weren't going to bed at, at the time that we probably should have. So if it were to, if it were to start at 9 or 8.30, the times that it started on the late start days, we were always ready to go and right away we'd learn a lot better on those days. Um, Dr. Judith Owens, who is a researcher of sleep, she's a doctorate in that, um, thinks that the issue of starting school at the 7 a.m. Is, is a statement about the importance of sleep on health, is what she says. So basically that means that we're not taking sleep as an important issue on our health. We're just saying that education is important, we need to start it, we need to get it going early, which it is really important, but also sleep is something that is very, very important for each one of us that we need to take into account and make that a high top tier thing as the importance of things in our life as well as the drives to school in a lot of situations are at that five in the morning where it's still dark outside and I know that there was a lot of times me drive, I would drive to school where it was still dark and I wasn't really wide awake and that's, that's really a safety concern because if something could have happened to me it would have been my fault obviously because I wasn't awake but it also goes into the school putting my, me in the position to drive to school at that 5 a.m. when knowing that 87 percent of high school kids aren't getting enough sleep, so 80% of people driving to school in the morning aren't fully awake for that. Drive to school is the educational system, I think, doing a flaw, like doing a disjustice to people by making them be in that position. So, and now um, another thing is starting school later has many positives, but it really doesn't really have very many negatives. The only thing that people say is that we've been doing it for a long time and that's just the way it is. That's kind of only the excuse for why it starts so early. Um, after school sports, I know that people say that after school sports would start too late and it would get dark when they were doing that, but I think that there's a lot of other solutions, being that maybe you could put your practice schedules as a class, the last class of the day, or potentially early morning waits like what we have right now for those that choose that but not force them to do it. Um, so there is a lot of positives to it as far as less fatigue during class, more hours to, I mean, more hours of sleep which is very essential and then just overall better cognitive learning skills. 
Some more of the uh, some more of the benefits would be improved alertness, memory, attention, stronger immune system, increased visibi visibility on the way to school. Those are all from uh, startschoollater.net, which is a website that is entirely based on attempting to get school to start later in America. Um, the other the other side of the of the argument, as what I said before, is just that we've been doing it, and it's not a broken system in their opinion, but in my opinion it is broken because there has been countless accidents on the way to school and there has been a lot of kids that have fell through the cracks because of fatigueness growing up in America. So I feel as if even though they think that the system is working, I, I don't agree that it really is. So and I have I said a lot of points and people that have backed up why it's not. So overall, to recap all of my points that I've made is that starting school later at maybe an 8.30 or 9 would increase people's attention in class, less falling asleep in class, and overall they, they'd be able to learn more and be more effective, as well as the big one is just getting to school in a safe and effective way in those early mornings would really benefit America and our educational process. And my name is Jordan Rathbone. Thank you.